Hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel, The Light of Grace, and this is Grace. Um, welcome back. It's February 2022. It's time for another money job life reading. I'm hoping that you're all in a safe space in your life right now. And thank you very much for your continued support. Um, and I thank all those new viewers who's giving my channel a chance. And I'm hoping that there is something here that can guide you and assist you in your soul journey. And if it does, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Again, thank you very much. I'm sending you a lot of love and light. So, if you're my first time here, if you're a first timer in my channel, I have four stacks in here. This will be the money, the Virgos with job, Virgos with no job, and the life reading and this will be the tangible blessings that will be coming for you this february which i will be reading at the end of the reading right now i'm going to put it on the side so uh is there any more messages that i need to say if i'm whispering i'm not in my house right now i'm in my parents house so i'm trying to be quiet it's night time it's pretty much two o'clock in the morning <laughs> okay so let's start the reading so for what's coming to you when it comes to money, you have the nine of fire. How are you going to respond to that energy? You have the eighth of earth. Influencing factors. You have the, the moon. The two of wands. I have a different setup today for some reason. <laughs> and advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have the be between worlds. Number three, teamwork, building a strong foundation, and the porcupine spirit, time for beginner's mind, number 48, 4 plus 8, 12, 2 plus 3 is the same number as the tree. You have the deer spirit, bring a gentle touch, number 18, 1 plus 8, 9, pretty much at the end of the, the journey and or cycle, and the last one would be change is needed. Change is needed. Okay. Mm. One second. Just give me time to look at this one, please. Okay, as far as money goes, there's. I'm not saying there's no money. There is money here, but there is something going on for the month of February 2022 that's going to need you to, um, to kind of hope and not give up. Okay, as you can see, this girl is looking at the stars. Okay, and this is like making a wish, but at the same time, you're not giving up when you have that kind of energy hope energy pretty much you're not giving up and and what i'm feeling having the between world is here because you're going through something and probably it's already happening for the month of january this recent energy this recent month where you are going through some hardship with the money because i have the between worlds in here and leaving that energy you, you were in the energy of being low being down being disappointed however it fits your story or your situation and you kind of maybe feeling hard on yourself having the being gent be gentle bring a gentle touch okay you probably hard on yourself okay because I mean, a lot of people, when they go through hardship in life, they sometimes become hard on themselves. They become mean to themselves. Sometimes they even blame themselves for the hardship that they've gone through or they're going through. But what I'm feeling is that with these two of ones in here, okay, two of ones in here is that you are you already holding on to the... It's like you have this drive like what you see she's he's holding the the ones in there you he's holding the one on the left hand and on the right hand he's holding the the moon or the sun 
right? Or the world or the earth. So this person has the, the drive, but at the same time, he has this hope. He has uh, this dream that he's holding on to tightly that he does not want to let go. And, and because I think this two of wands and the nine of fire, they are both... Uh, word embracing come to my head they're both embracing this idea this hope so much so so strongly that it's not gonna stop you from moving forward no matter how much of a hindrance or problem that you're going through as far as building your money up building more money or making more money but yes, it's not easy. For sure, it's not easy. You've gone through pain. You've gone through anger. You've gone through disappointments. And that is some feeling that it's been sitting inside you. And you maybe have a hard time letting go. But you are in this position where you're trying to stay positive, as I was saying. And you're not giving up hope. You're receiving the energy of the nine of nine of fire and with the, you're receiving the energy of the nine of fire with the energy of the eight of earth i guess when i put this in the camera it seems like it's opposite but or sorry about that it's the angle of the camera but anyway so you got the eight of earth okay and eight of earth is hard work this is hard work but this is focus but this is not the typical eight of pentacles that you that you usually see in the traditional tarot there is no person here working there is no person here focusing this is just the pentacle and the cello okay so what i'm getting from this card is that you are putting your focus and your focus is to make money your focus is to bring stability into your situation that is your goal to bring stability into your finance and one way of doing it is to build that finance to grow that money in whatever way shape or form that you can think of i feel for some of you um for some of you, you already have some idea. Time for beginner's mind. And what I'm getting here is that you are trying to change. It's like maybe for some of you, you're asking for help with a different, you're asking another person for a different perspective. Maybe, um, because then maybe what you're thinking may not be the best idea to, for you to make some money. So you're going to maybe a friend or your partner and ask for the ideas. You are welcoming any ideas and thoughts that they may have in order to build your money. You seem to be so eager to move forward. What the universe is saying here is that You're going to find your light. You're going to find your answer. Because this lady is holding the light. And then this lady also has is holding this cup with green color fluid or liquid, right? This is, it's kind of like an ace of cup. You're holding this um, emotional fulfillment and the emotional fulfillment is focused on the heart space. So having this green color fluid is the heart chakra. And having this in the cup is the emotion, which is pretty much prim primarily coming from your heart space. What I'm getting here is that this February, the divine is taking you to, to is going to take you out of this feeling down, feeling negative, 
they're going to assist you in moving forward. For some of you, you might feel this change towards the end of the February. For some of you, the beginning is. For some of you, it's the middle. But there is a change that the universe and the divine is telling you that you are leading to and you're leaving that disappointment, that dissatisfaction that you're going through in your finance and you're going to be moving forward and maybe after hearing some ideas that will be coming from some of the people that you trusted in regards to your money and and this is going to give you that hope that you're needing. For some of you, there is something that you're doing. Well, it's backward but anyway the you the divine and the universe is well for some of you you have a hard time changing maybe what you're thinking what you're feeling or what ideas that you might have will be the best idea or the best answer for you to build the money that you wanted but in fact what the universe is saying is that you got to change that strategy that what that strategy that you're doing is not working well for you so they're saying to change it and this applies to the Virgos who's uh, sticking to their ideas, sticking to their own strategy, sticking to their own perception. There is a need for change. And obviously with this in-between world in here, there is a need to change. There is a need to change your points of view when it comes to it. And that is probably why the universe is letting you know that time for beginner's mind. It's time for you to open your mind to, to some new ideas or even just strategy that that will be coming from people who has experience from you know experience in building their own income or it's just maybe you you're just going through online and studying how you can build your money okay but it looks fine this this money thing is fine it's just that you are in some sort of transition so if I say that you're having a hard time with your finance this January, then this past January, then February is transitioning. It's not fully taking you to that abundance energy yet, but it's leading you, it's guiding you to get to where you want it to be when it comes to your money. Okay, so let's go jump to the Virgos with job. What's coming your way? You have the two of fire. How are you going to receive it? You have the nine of air or the nine of swords. The most important influencing factors you have here. You have the four of swords in here. This is actually vice versa. Okay. And I will read it intuitively. And you have the ten of cups. In advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have the fates. Number 17, 7 plus 1, 8, abundance. Dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. Number one, one number 19, 1 plus 9, 10, end of the cycle and the beginning of something fresh. And you have the speak. Backward, okay, speak, okay. Let me look at this card quickly. So this February 2022, you have the two of fire as what's coming to you or is what you call the two of wands. This is uh, about an action. You're taking an action or you are some sort or you are... Um, what you call this uh, maybe trying to figure out or you're trying to make a decision or you're trying to make a decision about taking an action to a specific situation or work okay to a fire and you are receiving it with the nine of air energy here or the nine of sword but as this this nine of sword is typically is typically not the, the common or the usual nine of swords that you see because in this depiction or this image it has a peaceful energy that's coming out of it 
So let's talk about what's happening at work. So at work, um, I feel that there's not a lot of problems going on with work right now. And yes, there is some, uh, there is some, you know, chaos going on or problems or situation that you have no control of that is happening but appears to be that you are not bothered by it no matter how crazy the fire is you can see the fire is crazy right there's some smoke and it's your kingdom but it appears to be that you are still taking a nap you're not bothered by it you're not stressing out about it and i feel that i'm not saying that you don't really care actually you love your work having the having this energy of be loyal to what you love you love your work you love your work and this is probably the work that you're destined to be with that, uh, that you're destined to be with that you're destined to have in your life okay this is uh something that is uh maybe you're meant to have or you're meant to work on but no matter how crazy work is like what i'm saying you are peaceful you are rejuvenating you are resting because this and this work is really giving you the love that you wanting yes uh for some of you who works in um maybe you works in the night shift that maybe you're not getting a lot of emotional satisfaction probably because you know it stresses you out and by the time the daytime comes in you're already tired and exhausted as you can see with this four of swords in here so that's for some of you and that's for all of you so take what resonate drop that's not but otherwise <laughs> for some of you maybe at having the 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 ten of cups the ten of cups <laughs> my niece walked into the kitchen i'm actually in the kitchen right now <laughs> uh anyway so as you can see the cups is empty here right okay and for some of you, um, you're probably not emotionally satisfied about, about what's going on at work, okay? Not saying because you love your work, that everything is going well, but yes, there is a time when you're working on your, your, the, your dream work or your dream job that sometimes you can still get this emptiness, this sadness, or disappointments, emotional dissatisfaction, because it's just work work energy changes you know there's a time like of one week you're everything's going well and the following week everything's going crazy but you know what it's just work the bottom line of this is that you are moving forward you are looking forward you are doing the things that you need to do at work but you're not letting the outside noise bothers you you are thinking straight, you're thinking calmly, you are not, you don't get confused, you don't get stressed out. Everything is going uh, jolly at work, yeah? And I got this to speak here. So for some of you who has a heart who could not speak what you wanted in regards to your work that maybe is stressing you out, well, the universe is to speak it. Don't stay, don't play safe, okay? Thinking that maybe if you speak your mind, that you're going to be reprimanded by your boss or by a co-worker. No, not that. You have to speak it still. Because what's going to happen is that if you don't, it's just going to cause a bigger fire. Okay? It's just not going to make you happy at all. So, again, like what I said, you are moving forward in your work, whatever that may be. Continue doing what you're doing, no matter how crazy it is. You're going to be able to handle it perfectly and peacefully with no stress because somehow this job is just meant for you and you love this job. Yeah? All right. Let's go jump to rear goes with no job. What's coming to you? You have the four of earth or a four of pentacles. How are you going to receive it? You have the patience or the temperance, number 14, 4 plus 1, 5. Changes, influencing factors. You have the 9 of Wands. Again, it came, the 9 of Wands. You have the 7 of Wands. 
advice guidance and messages from the divine and the universe you have the mending number 52 5 plus 2 7 you have 7 in here and you have 7 in here that might be an important number for you and another 7 number 25 2 plus 5 7 elephant spirit learn from the past and the luck will come okay All right, let me look at this one quickly. <sighs> okay. I'm going to talk about the four of earth in a bit. Let's start talking about the mending and learn from the past. All right. So as far as Virgos, we know job, it has not been easy for you. You have gone through struggles, okay? And for at some point, you also feel defeated. But with this seven of wands in here, obviously this seven of wands in the other side here, feeling like fighting for themselves. But this one here is they're not fighting with anyone here. They're just looking at the aftermath of the situation. And that's what I'm saying that you've gone through something and maybe you you were you were um uh having some sort of you know misunderstanding with people just surrounding you or you you've gone through some hardship and you're looking back at the after effect or the aftermath of that and probably you you have a hard time finding a job maybe you for you apply for a job but somehow you did not get any um uh interviews or maybe you had an interview but it just did not work out right and you're looking at those situations and maybe wondering is what did i do wrong what did i do that is not right that somehow is causing this lag as far as finding the job okay you are doing some mending and that's what you're doing you're trying to mend that situation you're trying to find what are the things that i miss that not that I can probably work on this right now or correct it this now, correct it at this moment in time, this February, so the luck will come your way. So the luck will come. Yeah, your way, Virgos. And maybe for some of you you had some, you know, clo close encounter with a job, but it did not go through. Okay. And you given all your best to get the job, but somehow maybe they offered you a job, but you're not tempted to get it, or you don't want the offers that they're offering you because it does not, it doesn't even come close to how, it does not even come close to, to what you really want. You, it seems like you're not settling for just anything. You're really hoping for the one that you really want. And you have been patient. You've been working so hard. And for some of you, you've been um, thinking, like what I'm saying, you've been thinking and trying to figure out how you can get that job. What are, can you do to make things possible for you, to make things, to even maybe getting an interview for some of you, or maybe given the opportunity to at least Put your feet forward into this workspace right that's what you are kind of hoping and you have been patiently patiently waiting for that opportunity to come and patiently waiting for the job to come into your life so now what's coming your way this february you have the four of earth this is not the typical or the usual meaning of the four pentacles that is also, that is kind of like, you know, the one in um, Rider Waits where this, um, this guy is holding the pentacle right close to his chest and he has other pentacles on his feet, on his arm, or whatever, right? But this lady here, she's not holding any of the four of the pentacles what she's holding is this moth 
I think it's a moth. I don't think it's a butterfly. Yeah, it is a moth. Okay, and moth symbolizes transition, changes, opportunities that's going to come your way, that's going to change the situation. What I'm feeling here is that this February 2022, you're going to be embracing, you're going to be receiving some sort of a change in your situation, on your the, the energy of this job thingy, job thingy, the job situation is going to change. And this is being offered to you by the universe. And how you are going to receive it? Patience. You are going to be... The patient is the temperance. Temperance is also, the, aside from the meaning of patience, it's also the meaning of healing. And I feel that whatever these opportunities that's going to be coming your way, that's going to change your situation, it's going to bring you that healing. It's going to bring you that connection, okay, That that that's going to mend your situation, mend all the... The, the, the ch okay, when I say mend, okay, aside from mending the heartbreak, what I'm feeling is that, okay, this is the situation that you are in. And it, it hasn't been easy for you. Okay, here it goes. Now, there is this job opportunity. This is the job that you wanted. Okay, what this, this four of pentacles is going to be doing into your situation this February is going to build a bridge between having a difficulty to find a job and getting a job okay that is what i'm getting from these four pentacles is building a bridge between the two situation have faith having the number seven number seven here and another seven here it's a spiritual number it's a spiritual number and what I'm getting here is to have faith, to, to trust, to believe, and to stay patiently, to, to keep your patience intact. Because also, <laughs> back right again, I'm not used to this kind of setup, but anyway, forgive me. Luck will come. It says here, luck will come for your Virgos with no job. And I feel that's what I'm saying. This moth here, the one that she's holding, is that that's the luck. There is going to be luck walking on you, on your life, walking in your life this February. That is going to be bridging the situation, the hardship, and the job. There is a transitioning happening, but transitioning, transition happening, and it's requiring you to be patient. And I feel that having the patient as the receiving energy here, I feel that you are going to be patient. Okay? All right. Good luck. I crossed my fingers for you, Virgos. Hopefully, you, you get that job. Or even just opportunity or a glimpse of hope that there is a job that's going to be coming your way. That you not be ignored by the universe. So for the life reading, what's coming your way, you have the Ace of Air. How are you going to receive it? The Six of Earth. Beautiful. Influencing factors, you have the Five of Wands. The Ten of Swords. The King of Pentacles. Okay, what else? Uh, the Knight of Cups. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have the nut for you, number six. By the book, number 11. So you have six and six here. Um, you have six and six. I always think of six as the balance, equal give and take. You have the seahorse spirit, watch and wait. And uh, skunk spirit, know your worth, number 54, 5 plus 4, 9, end of a, end of a hardship or end of a cycle. I don't have much space and take 
and brown bear spirit take time out number nine at the end of a cycle another nine so you have this nine here and you have the five plus four nine so nine is the end of a cycle okay so let's see what else and the last one would be harboring bad feelings won't do you any good okay so life there it goes <clears throat> ace of air as an energy coming your way is a beautiful energy which i will talk about in a mi minute but i just want you to have that that message um okay so let's talk about the five of wands the ten of swords the king of pentacles and the knight of cups here <clears throat> I feel that for some of you, okay, and I feel like there's a different situation going on here. Um, you have been sad because of some sort of ending in the relationship, okay? If it's not a relationship, then it is someone that you're close with have walked out on your life. They walked away. It ended because I have the, the Ten of Swords in here. But I feel that this is, uh, if this is not recent. This is probably something that happened already a while back because as you can see, this this knight here does not have any blood bleak coming out of him he's all dried up but the swords are still stuck on him and what i'm getting here is that time passes blood is gone but the pain is still there <coughs> a second the pain is still there and if the if this is a relationship that you've gone through that somehow it ended because somebody walked away is either you walked away or they walked away there was a fight there was, there was you know conflict it did not come easy there was a lot of fighting or there was some big fights that happened and maybe at that point in time maybe you're questioning your worth do is it my fault is it is it, am i the reason why these things are happening and maybe for some of you you are harboring you are harboring bad feelings about the situation about this person maybe your confidence depleted maybe because i have the know your worth here maybe somehow you realize oh maybe i'm not worth it of i'm not worth of the love of this person But what the universe is saying here, this situation is not for you. This situation is not meant for you to have. It's not destined for you to have or to keep if this is a relationship, a love relationship. And if it's not a love relationship, you are so close to this person that you've somehow had some sort of disconnection, you know. For some of you, this person really really made you upset and that's probably why it says here harbor harboring bad feelings you're really probably angry to this towards this person but despite of the pain and the mental torture mental and emotional torture that that you've gone through or you're going through in regards to the situation you you stood your ground you you're you're grounded i mean money wise is not a problem here i think it's the one second i'm gonna sneeze <coughs> oh excuse me sorry so 
with the king of pentacles here what i'm feeling is that you are standing strong okay yes you're mentally affected by it yes you're emotionally affected by it yes it's still lingering in your mind what have happened in the past with this person but you are still grounded you're still here you the people are seeing that you are not affected by whatever have happened in this relationship in the past now if that is not the case what i'm also seeing is that um There's some, there could be some money imbalances or maybe money problem that you are kind of going through because I'm also seeing it here in the money reading. Having this, the, pen, the king of pentacles and the six of earth, I feel that you are, you know, having some problems with the money. Maybe you have some arguments with some people that maybe you are having some business uh, partnership with or some business dealing with. Or it just could be your person, your partner, your friends, whatever. But somehow it involves money. Okay. I mean, I feel that because having this as the king of pentacles, I feel that you do have money. What I'm just, uh, uh, what I feel that is that you're just having some sort of mental problem here. You're trying to figure things out here because emotionally you're not satisfied as far as whatever dealings that you're going through with this person or whatever situation that in your life okay maybe there's something that you want to purchase maybe there's some investment you want to work on okay but somehow you're not satisfied because it's causing conflicts in your life so what you decided i'm not happy about it i am walking away and what i'm getting again is that because it's not meant to okay there is a walking away here either in romance either in some sort of financial dealings there is a walking away energy here because it's not meant for you to have it that's what the universe is saying okay so let's talk about the ace of air and the six of earth there is going to be a new beginning having the ace of air in here there is going to be a new beginning coming your way this february and this could be anything because this is a life reading it it's it has a lot of aspect that that kind of okay life has a lot of aspect a lot of situation a lot of dealings that we have to go through money job family spiritual dealing and all that stuff but having this ace of air in here this could be an opportunity coming your way this february this could be a job a good news for people who's waiting for a job or this could be um um opportunities that this is like a i'm trying to get that word this is like an epiphany okay if it's not a news it's an epiphany if this is not an epiphany this is a clarity that will be coming your way this february and how and how it's gonna affect you you're gonna have this balance the six of earth or six of pentacles there is gonna be a ba balance in the 3d world that you're gonna feel that you're gonna experience okay whatever situation this could be money situation this could be a relationship situation or it could be a love relationship situation whatever that is there is gonna be something coming and it's gonna bring you balance beautiful that is balance is really important for all of us we don't want to be shaken up despite of how crazy your life is virgo this february there is something that's gonna pop in your life that's gonna bring you balance okay the advice for the month of february in regards to 
um, to life. What I'm getting here, what the universe is saying, harboring bad feelings won't do you any good, which is true. I believe in this. Harboring bad, bad feelings won't do you any good at all. So if ever you are hurting from the past relationship, from the big breakup or for whatever dealings that you might be going through in life, in whatever aspect that might be, release that energy, release that bad feelings towards that person, towards the situation, release it. And also, it says here, brown bear spirit, take time out. This is uh, an advice from the universe saying that you got to take a breather. You got to take a breather. Okay, it's the time for you to take a breather. You cannot keep going on with this, not taking a little break. Exhaustion is not going to get you anywhere. Forcing things to happen is not going to get you anywhere. What the universe is saying, sit still. Try not to do much. Just collect yourself. Take a break. Okay, and maybe and from taking a break, it's going to help you to balance yourself. It's going to help you to find answers that you needed for whatever situation that you're going through. Okay, when your mind is too busy, you're not getting anywhere and you're not going to go. You're not going to achieve anything with your mind going crazy. And also know your worth. You are worth it, Virgo. You are important. You're valuable here. Okay, sometimes... We question ourselves when we go through hardship that, oh, well, my, I'm not doing my best. Oh, I'm lousy. Oh, I'm not. I'm dumb, dumb, you know, whatever, you know. Here, this, the, thing that's, that's happen, the things that are happening in your life are just part of life, okay? If you feel one thing, it doesn't mean that you are dumb, dumb, okay? It's just saying that, oh, I, I'm not, I'm failing this, but doesn't mean that I'm going to be a failure for the rest of my life. Just, just say, it's just saying that maybe it's not for you. You just have to think that that situation that you're in, relationship or not, is just not for you, okay? It's not meant for you, and you just got to take that. But you have to think, but you have to start feeling and thinking that things go down the drain. That doesn't mean that you are worthless. You are. People go through shit, but, you know... You are important. You are valuable, okay? Um, with this by the book in here, this by the book, had to me, there's always a lot of uh, it, uh, interpretation that you can get out of this. This could be the energy of the higher fund. This could be the energy of following the rules and regulation. And what I'm getting here is that for you, you have to keep moving forward. You might not be seeing what you're heading to. You might not have an idea where you're supposed to be going, but keep going. Don't give up. The door will open up for you. The door is, you're going to hit that door. And when the door comes in, then that is the sign from the divine saying, oh, you have reached the end of this. Now you are entering this door. You're not going to be feeling a loss anymore because you are entering because as you can see this desert doesn't have any the horizon is empty there's nothing there right so what the divine and the universe is saying keep moving forward you might not be seeing because i'm seeing this look at this this thing here the eyes closed right you might not be seeing what's ahead of you but just keep moving forward and keep having that faith that thing is going to get better, okay? But again, importantly, harboring bad feelings won't do you any good. And not last advice from this, watch and wait. You just got to be patient. You know, everything that happens in our life, it has its own time. We cannot force things to happen and we cannot rush things to happen. It just happened. And the best thing we can do is to when we're overwhelmed to take a breather when things doesn't happen hey what can we do right but don't think you're a loser and just be patient and do not harbor any negative energy from anyone or any situation 
like what I said, it's not gonna do you any good. Okay. So having the nine of fire here, two of fire, four of earth here, and ace of earth. Yes, there's gonna be opportunities coming your way. It could be a good news. It could be a clarity. It could be an epiphany coming this February. That's gonna, it's that's gonna kind of give you a go sign here. Go sign. Okay. Oh, that thing. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna move forward. Now I'm seeing. I'm seeing where this thing is leading me. I just have to keep this hope here. I just I can't give up on this. Okay, you can't give up. Okay, because opportunity is coming your way and it's going to open the dam. It's going to open the door to enter to this new stage of your situation that's going to lead you to transition, transformation. And it's going to bring it to your stability. Okay? So let's see what are the two tangible blessings that's going to come your way this February 2022. Peace. Wow. Beautiful. It's backward again. <laughs> Peace. Beautiful. Peace is coming your way this February. And I feel that this ace of air is the one that's going to lead you to peace. This ace of air is big. And like what I said, life is has a lot of aspect. Job, money, relationship, family, religion, faith, spirituality, health. Yes, a lot. Okay? But whatever that's causing you to be stressed and to be not in peace, there is going to be an answer. That's going to come your way this February. That's going to lead you to peace. Last one. Ooh, breakthrough. Very good. Breakthrough. There's going to be some breakthrough. Like what I said. Again. This ace of air is the breakthrough. Is the epiphany. Is the clarity. Or it's the good news that's going to push through. That's going to be a breakthrough to your situation. And that's going to lead you. To a change of your energy okay so for some of you it might happen towards the end of the, the month some of you in the middle and some of you maybe it might kind of flow towards March okay um, I think that would be a reading good reading very good I thank you so much I am sending you lots of love and light and have a good morning or a good night or a good afternoon bye bye